הקדוש ברוך הוא אור מסכת בבא קמא דף קו עמוד א' We are now right now asking the following. We just said that if a person is going to come and they are going to kofer uh, b'milve, which means that, for example, I come and I say, listen, I didn't borrow from you. So he's still going to be kashel ha'edut. Why? Because the fact that I did, I was trying to buy time. It wasn't that I admit I didn't want to pay you. I'm going to pay you. But I wanted to buy time. But if it's going to be b'pikadon, it's going to be pasul le'edut. So the Gemara says, Lehamar Ilfa Ilfa asked, Shivua Kona, right? Shivua Hudekan, Yavra Kfira Lokanya. He says, What are you talking about? If a person comes and he makes a Shivua, he makes an oath, Shinishba, Adam Nifdore Tatsmomi Tviya, that he, he swears that he wants to make himself patul from something. So Konelo Tamamon, he acquires it. So therefore, the Kavanav Ilfa is, is that just like to do with Kinyat Pikadon, right? To be Mitchayev Beonsi, and it becomes his. that he's now chayav in Omsin, and he actually comes and he teaches that the Shomer HaNishbal Tfilato B'Pikadon, right? He comes and he says, right? He says like this, he says, right? In such a case, Shavua Hu Dekanya, Aval Tfila Hu Dekanya, he says, only if you make an oath, is it going to be that you are Kone the Pikadon? That means if you come and you say, he swears that it's not, so now it's his. Because now that he swore that, he did, that it's not his, now he's obligated in all the Omsin. Anything that happens to the Pikadon, Now he's going to be chayav. But he says, but if he just says, no, it's not mine, right? He's not going to be konedze. So this is obviously not like Rav Sheshat. Rav Sheshat said the fact that you do kfira, you know what kfira is? That you say that it's not mine. That I, I, you never gave it to me. Ani kofer. I said, what are you talking about? So, uh, exactly, kofer. So he said, in that case, he's already going to be mi chayav be'onsi. So answers the Gemara, you're right. Achanami, so to here, we're dealing with the kaima be'agam. That we're talking about that he was in the agam. Another answer, Rabbi Bayit Eima, Umay Shavua Kona. What does it mean now, Shavua Kona? Kedar Avuna, like Ravuna. Te'ama Ravuna, Amar Rav, says Ravuna, name of Rav, Mane li biyadcha, Vahal omer, En lecha biyadi. Somebody comes and he says, by the way, you owe me a hundred bucks. I have a hundred dollars by you. The other guy says, what are you talking about? En lecha biyadi. You don't have nothing by me. Venishba, he swears. And then comes the deem. Vechak ba'u adim, Patur, he's going to be Patur from paying back. Right? Shneema, but says in Pasuk, Velakach be'ala velo yishalem. What does that mean? The peak, the, ba, the, the Bala Pikadon is going to come and he's taking from the Shomena Shavua that he's not Chayav. He's going to be Patur, Mila Shalem. The Kevan Shekiblu Abealim Shavua, once they accept upon themselves the Shavua, Shuven Meshalem Mamon on Pibadim, then he's not going to pay through Bedim. That means even if Edim are going to come afterwards and say that it's not true, he's not going to get money. Right? Why? Because the second that he swore, he accepted the vow, that's it. He accepted the oath. So therefore we say Shavua is Kona. Yeah? Fine. So let's see what the Gimana now says. Gufa amar avun amar rav. Says avun amar rav. Mane li biyad chav ala omer alecha biyad iklum. The same case. I come and say, you owe me a hundred dollars. He goes, what are you talking about? I don't have anything, but you don't have anything by me. Ben ishba, he swears. Ubao edim, and then he didn't come. He's going to be patut from paying back. Why? Betim cannot take the money out of his hands. Because once he swore, that's it. And the guy accepted the oath. Meaning he said, yeah, yeah, you swear, that's it. Shnei ma'ar ben says the pasuk, v'lekach be'ala v'lo yishalem. Kevin Shekiblu Be'alim Shavua, once they accept upon themselves a Shavua, Shuvenu Meshavim Mamon, they're not going to pay money anymore. So Amar Rava, Rava comes and he says, Nistabra Milte de Rav, it's logical the words of Rav Milve, to do with the loan. Yad de Lehotza Nitzna, because it was given out for Hotza'a. Because it was given out for Hotza'a. What does it mean by Hotza'a? For expenses. Okay. So, says the Gimara, Aval Pikadon, right, but Pikadon, Bishute de Marekai. We're talking about the Pikadon is always going to be in the Rishut of the Master. Ve ha'elokim amar, right, and the Shivua is, it says Ra, right, afilu be Pikadon, right? So he, he comes and he says, even be Pikadon, the Chikatav Krabas, when the Pasuk says be Pikadon Ketiv, ve lakach be'alav, ve lo yishalem, we're talking about Pikadon, okay? Fine. So Yativ Rav Nachman the Kamal Hashmata. Rav Nachman was sitting down and he was saying this Braita. And he said like this, eight way, we have the following question. Ravacham bar minyumi le Rav Nachman. So he asked, Ravacham bar minyumi to Rav Nachman. Heichan pikdoni. Where's my pikadon? So Amar lo, he comes and he says, Avad. Yeah? It got lost. And I'm put, I want you to swear to me. Yeah? Amar, he says, Amen. He accepts the pikadon. He accepts the Shavua. Yeah, he says, Amen. Yeah, it got lost. 
ועדים מעידים אותו שאך לא. עדים קם, and they say, of course it's lost, he ate it. Yeah, so what happens? משלם את הקרן, he has to pay the קרן, the principal, but he doesn't have to pay כפל. Why? Because he didn't say it was stolen. He said it was lost. Remember, to pay the, the okay. chomesh, the kefel, okay. right, sorry, not the chomesh, the, the kefel, the chomesh is by the shuwa. To pay the kefel by the geneva is only if he toen ta'anat ganav. If he doesn't, it's not toen ta'anat ganav, he doesn't pay the kefel. Hoda me'atzmo, if after he made the oath, he's modeh, and he says, no, 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 by the way, you should know, I really ate it. So what happens? Meshalem keren, the chomesh, the asham. He's going to pay Karen, the principal, Chomesh the fifth, and an Asham. Okay. So says the Gimana, obviously, because any time that he's, he swears falsely, he has to pay the Chomesh and he has to bring a Korban Asham. Amale Rav Nachman, says Rav Nachman, to Rav Achabar Men Yome, right? He comes and he says, like this, he says, Hacha Maizkina, what are we dealing with here when a person comes and he says, Hechem Pekdoni, Kegon de Nishba Chutz Abedin. He swore outside of Bedin. So since he swore outside of Bedin, He's not going to be Mishalem al pi Edim. Which means like this, when a person comes and he's going to swear inside of a Bedim, and then they find out that it was actually swearing falsely, then he has to pay the Chomesh and Korban Hashem and all these things. But if the Shivua was done outside of the Bedim, right, it's not enough to take out, right, the, the money. Okay? That's what he says. It's not enough. Fine. So Amalei, so now comes Rav Acham Baben Yumin and tells Rav Nachman, so so he must say let's see the seifa hechen pigdoni where's my pikadon ramalon he says nignav it was stolen so before he said it was lost and really hated now he says it was stolen mashpiyachani swear amar amen he says amen yeah he swears right and then they didn't come and they say that he himself stole it yeah he himself stole it meshalem tashume kefen here he does have to pay the kefen right why because he stole it. And therefore, the fact that he didn't admit, and then he got caught, right? Because they didn't come and eat. So that's it. He has to be careful. If he's going to be in the middle of he's going to pay. Right? Obviously, he doesn't pay kefel. Because a kefel, you never pay if you're in the middle Meaning, if a person comes and he says, I stole, he admits on his own. Before any witnesses ever come, he never pays kefel. But Keren is the principal. Keren is the, the principal. What? No, here, yes, because he already swore. Ah, no, it's not true. He already swore. Once he swore, he already has to pay the Chomesh and the Hashem. The Hashem is a Korban anyway, but he has to pay the Chomesh. The yes. Now, if you're going to come and tell me, that he actually swore outside of Bedin, what does that mean? One more time. If the entire case was that he swore outside of Bedin, so if he swore outside of the Bedin, And now the Edim come, now he's going to be chayav to pay kefel. It's outside of the Bedin. Where's kefel outside of Bedin? Kefel is only a Bedin can, can enforce kefel. Kefel is a, is a penalty. If you're outside and I'm speaking to you, I can't enforce a penalty on you. What does that mean? It has to be inside of a Bedin. Yeah. So he says, Amalei, come and he says, Yachilna, Lishayu, I could answer you. Right? The, the Reisha is a Chutz Bedin. And the Seifa is outside of, uh, is in Bedin. Sorry. The Reisha about that it was uh, uh, lost. And then after, that was talking about outside Bedin. In Achenami. But the Seifa, which is Tamal Ganav, is inside of the Bedin. Miu, however though, I don't want to answer. It's Tochak. Tell you the Reisha and Seifa. The Reisha is talking about outside of the Bedin. Seifa is talking about inside of the Bedin. It's, it's, uh, how do you say Dochak? It's like, it's not, it's not a good answer. It's, uh, you know, yeah, if you want, yeah. So he says, Edi be Edi be Bedin. Really, Bemet, they're both in Bedin. Velak Hashem, it's not a question. He says, why? He comes and he says, Velak Hashem, Kan be Kafatz, Ve Kan be Shelo Kafatz. He comes and he says, in the Reisha we're talking about, Shu Kafatz ve Shpia Meatzmo. He swore on his own before the Bedin told him to swear. Okay? The Seifa is where Rav was talking about was Shelo Kafatz, meaning the Dayanim or Mechayev Oto Lishava. And therefore it comes out that the Mishnah is not Soter, the words of Revi. Why? Because if right now he comes 
and he's going to be kofetz, uh, meaning he jumps, he swears on his own, right? So therefore, he comes and he says over here, right, that's not the case that the Dayanin forced him to swear. So it's a completely different halakha. If the Dayanin come and they force you to swear, that's one thing. But if he just comes out, I, I mean, well, who told you to swear? What's going on? Uh, it's not the same halachot. Mm -hmm. So because of that, he comes and he says, says let's see, the Rav lo lecha, right? He says, since you don't hold of Rav, but according to you, even if a person is going to swear, he's still going to become patur. If afterwards come edim, they're going to come and they're going to say, it's, what, 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 they're going to bring it back. What's going to happen then? Mushkuni nafshach ad Rav lamalach. He says, why are you going to come and put yourself to start answering questions to answer up Rav King? If you don't bank a hold of Rav, so what do you care then? So Amalei, he comes and he says, Leferusha de Rav, the Rav, Hachi Mitar Samitzin. He says, no, I'm only coming to answer up Rav. You're right, I don't hold of Rav. But I'm coming to answer him up. Right, why? Because that's how Rav is going to learn, right, this Mishnah. So says the Gimara, but one second. But Rav, but Rav has a Pasuk. Rav has a Pasuk. If you come, and you, and uh, one more time, somebody comes and he says, I have a hundred bucks by you. He said, what are you talking about? He says, do you swear? He says, yes, he swore. He's patur. Even if witnesses come afterwards, he's still patur. Why is it he's still going to be patur? The pasuk says, The second that the be'alim accept the shivua, and the guy made a shivua that I have, you have nothing by me. Right? 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 Why? It's key that right now you accept the Shavua, that's it, you're done. So Rav has a Pasuk. Somebody, they said, no. The Pasuk is talking about that anybody that swears never pays. That's a general rule, right? Anybody that swears doesn't pay. Right? I mean, the one that's a Tviya on him, he's going to be Nishma to become Patur. But not according, not that it's in this case when you have a Deem afterwards, meaning, I come and I say, you owe me money. My word against your, your word. You say no. I say yes. Yes, no, yes, no. Nobody has proof. So, so I come say. and I make you do a shivua. And the second that you make a shivua, you're patu. Why? Because the second that you come and you make a shivua to exempt, that's it, you're exempt. You mean the shivua. Huh? 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 Wow. I cannot come. Say that through, no, lying, no? The shvua, like, the yeah. Yes. Okay. No, no, no. The shvua. No. So no, doesn't matter. No, no. One second. One second. One second. One second. One second. That's the general rule. That's the general rule. So the general rule is: the second that you make a shvua, you're patur. Then you're patur. Why? You swore. That's what the Torah says. However, though, if somebody is going to come and bring a Raya Chotelet, Edim, oh, we never said that. Rav said yes. And Rav learned that from the Pasuk. But we're saying no, it doesn't work like that. So Mati Rav Amnuna, Rav Amnuna is going to ask, right? Ishbi'a alav chamisha pe'amim. Ben bifne bedin, ben shalom bifne bedin. What happens if he comes and he puts him to swear five times? Right? The kafar alav. And every single time, no, 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 no. Chayav al kol achav achat. He's going to be chayav on every single one of the shivuot. Right? Obviously, Rav is going to hold that no, because it doesn't exist. But that's what uh, he said. No, well, the sof. So, yeah. <laughs> so he's going to be chayav on every single shivua. Ramar Bishmon says, Bishmon, mataam hoil biyachol achzor v'lodot. He says, why Bemet is he going to be chayav on every single one? He says, you know why? Because afterwards, he could have actually been modeh. And if he would have been modeh in Medin, right, that the, what would have happened was motzim it amamon, and then there is a chiyuv mamon, and therefore that's it. That's why he would have been patur afterwards. Right? So the fact, Ah, maybe you're not, maybe you're going to answer that he jumped up on his own and he swore five times. You know how it is. Sometimes the people, they want to they wanna show that they're innocent. So they swear once, two. You're like, I want, how many times do you have to swear? You already swore. No, I want to show that I'm telling the truth. So, ah, one, two, three, four, five. Hey, what's going on here? Here you can't say, Kafatz, Lomatzi Tamart. He says, Ishbi Alaktan. It's written that he made him swear. Not true, Kafatz, Ishba. Not that he jumped up and he swore on his own. He forced him to swear. So, and ah, maybe you're going to answer it's outside of Bedin. Because we just said that outside of Bedin doesn't have any force. It says, no. It says, Ishpi Alav, the, the writer says, um, Ben Bifne Bedin, Ben Shelo Bifne Bedin, the Kafar Alav. It was Ishpi Alav, even Bifne Bedin. 
So that means you cannot answer that he kafatz me'atzmo. You cannot answer that it was outside of the deen. So what are you going to do over here? So says the Gemara, who multi love and fight. He asked the question. He answered the question. Litzadin ktani. What does it mean litzadin? He shbi alav chutz betin bevetin kafatz. He says if it was ishbi alav, right? The kavanah was outside of the bedin, and in bedin in the bedin, right, was kafatz. Meaning the first part of the case was he makes him swear. But when was that? Outside of Bedin. The second part of the case was inside of Bedin. But what happened inside of the Bedin? Inside of the Bedin, who kafatz me'at small and he swore. He came on his own and he swore. He did, nobody asked him to swear. He jumped up and he swore. So in such a case, there's no question on the Mishnah and Rav. Because we just said that the Shavuah is not going to be kone was only if the Shavuah is alpi dayanin and inside of Bedin. Meaning, in order for Shavuah to take place, first of all, rule number one has to be inside of Bedin. Rule number two, Betin have to make him swear. If he jumps on his own, he starts swearing, he starts swearing doesn't have the same rule of fact. And if it's outside of Betin and somebody makes him force him to swear, it doesn't have the same effects. That's what's going to be very, very uh, important. So Mati Rava, Rava comes and he asks the following question. Balabai chitan ta'anat ganav be pikadon. A balabai that comes and he's toen ta'anat ganav by pikadon. Right? One, one more time. We're talking about a balabait. He comes and he says that it was stolen. Right? That means basically somebody came and he gave it to him like a shomer chinam. And then he comes and he says it was stolen from him. Then he shba. He swears that he doesn't have it. Vehoda. And then afterwards he was modeh. That means he was modeh that he himself stole it. Ubawedim. And then edim kam. Imat shelo bawedim hoda. If until before the edim came. He was already modeh. He admitted to the truth. Hashalem kerem v'chomesh v'asham. He has to pay the principal. Chomesh v'asham. Remember, he swore. Once he swore falsely, Chomesh v'asham. V'im mishibaw edim oda, but what happens if he only was modeh after the edim came? So now he has to pay tashlume kefel v'asham. Now he doesn't pay any more the Chomesh. Now he pays kefel. Kefel is double. Remember, Chomesh is 20% more, mm -hmm. right? But the kefel is double, right? It's much more. So he says, but he has to bring a korban asham. Why does he have to bring a korban asham? Korban asham, one-fifth. Right? Kefil is kaful. Yeah? No, one-fifth. It's a three machus. A three machus. Yeah, it's three machus. One-fifth. Yeah? So he comes and he says, V'hachain over here, Chutz lebetin v'kafatz lo matzit amart. Again, the same thing. You cannot say that it's outside of Bedi. And you cannot say that he kafatz me'at small, that he's jumped on his own. So he says, Kefil k'tani. Why? Because we learned Kefil. Remember, once we're learning Kefel, Kefel has to be where? In Betin. No, but that's what we're saying. So the fact that it's written Kefel, I already know we're talking about Betin. And when it's written that he was, so you can't answer that it was outside Betin. You can't answer Kafatz Matzmo. So what are you going to say? Elama Rava, but rather Rava says, Kol Hoda, anybody that's going to be Modeh, doesn't matter whether he said it was lost, doesn't matter whether he said it was ganav, lo amar rav, right then, rav did not say that the shua is partato legamre. But once he's modeh, they take out the money from him. Meaning, the second that he's modeh, they're going to take out the money from him. doesn't exist, they're not going to take out the money from him. Taktiv is, it's written v'itvada. What is v'itvada? He confesses. Tabayi shlum, kerem v'chomesh, he has to pay, kerem v'chomesh. Right? V'tuenta anat ganav, and he's going to be tuenta anat ganav. Ubao edim. And then all of a sudden they didn't come. Nami no amar rav. We're not talking about the rav says aktiv tashlume kefil because we're talking about tashlume kefil. So ki kaamar. What are we talking about then, rav? Shetuen tanat avad. Rav is talking about a case where he said it was lost. Nishba. He swears that it was lost. Velohoda. He never admitted. And then it didn't come. And they say that it's not true. So therefore. Since right now, Rav is going to be modeh, that anybody that's going to be mitvadeh, anybody that confesses, and he's going to be confessed that he was mishba b'sheked, we're not going to say that he's going to be kone mamon, but we take it away from him, right? So it comes out that we don't have to come and answer up ish b'alav chamisha p'amim and everything like the way that we did. No, 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 no. We're talking about really b'emet, that the second that he's going to be modeh, the second that he admits, we take the money out of him. That's what we're going to do. So Azan Rav Gamda, he went to Rav Gamda and he said this right in front of Rav Ashi. Amar and he said, Hashda now, Umar Rav Amnuna Talmudet Rav. Just like Rav Amnuna, right? The Talmud of Rav. 
and he knows that Rav already says that if he's going to be modeh, then he's asking it. What's going on? Rav Huna is a student of Rav. If you're going to tell me that this is the Pshat in Rav, how could he even ask that question then? It's all he said. If he's modeh me'atzmo, meaning he's admitting it from his own, for sure you could take it out from him. So what are you talking about? That's not the Pshat in Rav. If his own student is the one that's saying this. So Amal Ravacha Saba Ravashi Rav Amnunach, you know, you're right. This is what Rav Amnuna had, the question. Right? Kuvava Mubet. Yeah? 106b. Iyamar Bisham, if you're going to tell me now, Nishba, that he swears, Kiatu Adim Chayev, that he's going to be Chayav, Amtu Lehachi, because of the Chayavin and the Korban, you're going to come and obligate a Korban on the last Shavuah. Why? Because he could admit in between. Meaning, in between each and every single one of these, he could admit. And once he's going to be admitting, so then that's it. It's a completely different halacha. Because remember, in every single one, he could come and he could admit. But if you're going to tell me now that we're talking about that if the din come, it's going to be patur. Does it exist that if witnesses come and they testify, he's going to be patur? Right? And we're going to come and we're going to obligate him a korban on the shavua. Because he could be modeh? Doesn't make sense. How could it be that witnesses come they say, no, 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 he stole. And he's still going to be patur according to Rav. Why? Because since the guy accepted a shavua, the guy's patur mil shalem. How could that be? He says, and we're going to obligate him a korban on the shavua because he could have been modeh. And now we're coming, we're saying, but at the end of the day, he wasn't modeh. So what's going on then? Right? So how does that work? So obviously we're going to see, right, how it is. Where it says now, Amar Bihia Bar Abba Amar Biochanan. We are eight lines down, which is going to be the two dots. It says, Bihia Bar Abba says the name of Biochanan. Hatuen Tanat Ganab Pikadon. Somebody was given a collateral, and all of a sudden the guy comes and he says, No, give it back to me. Well, it's stolen. Shalem Tashu Mekefel. He has to pay Kefel. Tabahu Machar. If he slaughtered it or sold it, Shalem Tashu Mekefel. He has to pay four or five times. Hoil Veganam Shalem Tashu Mekefel. Since the ganav is going to pay tashlum kefel. The twenty tana ganav is tashlum kefel. So twenty tana ganav. One more time. Ganav means he himself stole it. Twenty tana ganav means he was given to him as a collateral, and then he said it was stolen. That's twenty tana ganav. So since each one pays kefel, ma ganav meshalem kefel. Just like the ganav is meshalem kefel, tavach umachar meshalem tashlum ever chamisha. So if he's going to solve that, he pays four and five. So to twenty tana ganav, right? The same thing. He's going to pay. He's going to pay. He's going to pay. Which means it makes sense. Yes, he's saying that somebody else stole yeah. it from him. Okay? Everyone understood the, the learning? One more time. We're comparing Ganav to Tuen Ta'anad Ganav. Selamim Shos. The Bidiu Koto Davach. Yeah? Yishanu Abed Vari. What does that mean? You're putting the... Ganav and Tuen Tanat Ganav. Just like the Ganav, he steals, he has to pay Tashu Mekefet. Tuen Tanat Ganav has to pay Tashu Mekefet. So just like when a Ganav is going to come and steal and then afterwards he slaughters and sells it, he has to pay four and five times. So to Tuen Tanat Ganav, when he's going to be Tuen Tanat Ganav. Remember, he's going to pay four or five times, which makes sense. Everything, it's all the same alachot. Okay? Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, but because he slaughtered, he paid four. Amri, we said, Hekeshahi. Makish. What does that mean? We're making a cash that we're learning from Ganav on Tuen Ta'anat Ganav. Ve'en meshivin ala kesha. And we're not going to push off a drashat kesh because of a question. Which means the limud of Rabbi Yochanan is not coming from a binyan ab as we thought from the beginning. But rather it's a kesh. And therefore even though we found that we could be machmin and we are machmin, sometimes in a ganav more than a toen tanat ganav, right? Still, it's going to be okay. I don't know if anybody realized, but I skipped the question. So one more time, let's go back up a few lines, right? Because I lost the place. Male ganav, one more time, right? Let's go back, zoom out, pay attention. One more time. We mentioned that if a person steals and he gets caught, how much does he have to pay? Kefen. If he steals and he slaughters and sells it, how much does he have to pay? Four and five times. Depends whether it's a shi or shorose. Okay? What happens right now if somebody gives you a collateral and they say, ah, give it back to me. So it was stolen. And he himself stole it. So he's caught. How much does he have to pay? Kefen. If he slaughters it and sells it, how much does he have to pay? Four or five times. Says the Gemara, 
מה לגנב שכן משלם תשלומי כפל שלא בשבועה, תאמר בטוען טענת גנב שמשלם, שאינו משלם תשלומי כפל בשבועה. He says, you cannot make a hekesh. You know why you can't make a hekesh? You cannot be makish? Because a ganav automatically has to pay kefil. He stole and he was caught, he pays kefil. If he was modem at small or exited them at small, he doesn't pay kefil. But if he's caught, he pays kefil. Automati. Automatically. There's no shivwa, no nada. Pays kefil. So when Tanat ganav, he's only chayav if, if, he, if, he, if, he, if he swears. If he doesn't swear, there's no kefil. He has to swear. I come and say, give it back to me. Say, so, oh, my pitom, nigna. Uh, Eli is it. You have to be Shavua. Only after the Shavua you pay. So that's the Gemara asking. Answers the Gemara, and this is where we're going, right? Hekesh, it's Hekesh. Meaning, even though you have a good question, which means you wanted to ask that there's a Chumra by Twenta Anad Ganav. The Chumra by Twenta Anad Ganav is you have to make a Shavua. Meaning, by Twenta Anad Ganav, you have to swear, you have to make an oath. So it's a Chumra. So maybe you can make Hekesh. No. When there's a Hekesh, even if you have a question against a Hekesh, we do it. Meaning, if it's going to be, uh, how do you call this, uh, binyanav, so then I can say, yeah, but you can compare it. This one has a chumrah, this one has a kula, and then if you remember, it goes to the other side. And then you could put two common denominators, you make a binyanav, here's not binyanav. This is a chekesh. And once it's a chekesh, I do not ask, I mean, even if I have a question, because technically speaking, there's a chumrah, it's not a question. Right? What does it mean, it's not a question? You, you don't ask the question. And you cannot push it off. So says the Gemara, Anicha, Anicha, no. Oh, well, if he swore false, yes. Yeah. Swore false, yes. Right? Anicha leman dama chad beganav, lechad betoin tanat ganav. I understand if the Tana is holding that by Shomet Inam, we're talking about one pasuk is talking about imimase aganav, yeshalem shenayim, right? This was uh, last week's parasha, by the way, parasha mishpatim. Imimase aganav, yeshalem shenayim. Pim lo yimase aganav, yeshalem shenayim lereu. So then it's going to be, that means one of them is talking about Ganav, and one of them is Tuen Tanat Ganav. So then it makes sense. Why? You have a Yekesh. You have two Pesukim. One is Pasuk Zayin, or Pasuk Vav, right? And the other one is Pasuk Zayin, and it's Vav Zayin Chet, meaning these three Pesukim, they're all together. And one of them is talking about Ganav, and one of them is talking about Tuen Tanat Ganav. So the, since they're both right beside each other, so therefore what happens? So therefore there's a Yekesh. Yekesh remembers the juxtaposition, close proximity. When you have two things brought down together. Okay, so then Shabir makes sense. But if you're going to tell me, according to the Mandamar that says, they're both talking about Twentanat Ganav, which means that Ganav Mamash is not mentioned at all. That entire parasha is only talking about the Twentanat Ganav. So according to that, there's no Ekesh. Yeah, Mordechai. If I'm going to say, Right? That there's no ganav in those three psukim. So there's no ikesh. Hakol medubar betoen tanat ganav. And ganav. So therefore, what, Michael, what are you going to say? So Amri, they said no. But there's an extra letter. It says, imimase had ganav. The letter he. The letter he, which is extra in the word had ganav, which is written by toen tanat ganav, right? So he comes and he says, that's actually coming and teaching you that it's toen tanat ganav they're making it that they're also the exact same alachot from Ganav as well. Because of the superfluous letter of the letter He. So ask the Gemara 8, we're going to ask the following question. Imagine somebody comes and he says, No, where's my ox? So he says, Nignav, it was stolen. So he tells him, Mashpiachani, you want me to make you swear? Right? I'm going to make you swear. But Maramen, he says, Yes. Right? The the one, second, one second, one second. And now he says, the Hayadim, right? Meidim oto shachalo. The Hayadim come and they say, one second, he ate it. What are you talking about? So, Meshalem Tashu me kefen. He has to pay kefen. The Ahaka, but over here, right? You answered your own question, by the way. Right? The Ahaka, how did you answer your own question? Because you said, Meidim rak bedim. No. Kefen. Kefen rak bedim. No, that he himself ate the shore. Yeah. So he has to, one second, one second. So he has to pay, right, the kefir. Says the Gemara, but one second over here, one second. How did he eat it? 
one shy. These guys are both jumping on me, and it's right in the next words on the Gemara. Yeah. 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 He says that Katani, I have to do the shita. No, no, no. The Ganavim are doing the shita here. The Ganavim are doing the shita here. Yeah, they're jumping. Yeah, kofetz. Yeah. So he says the Katani Mishalim Tashumi Kefel. Tashumi Kefel in the Tshumer Rebbe Chavisha. No, he says what's that? You're not Tshumi Kefel. Not Rebbe Chavisha. Yeah. 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 He didn't do Shrita. He did when it was a Nevela. So he doesn't have to be the Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Huh? What? One second. You could answer another thing also. Why can't you just say that it was a Trefa? Which means that they did do the Shrita, but it wasn't a Shrita. Right? So answer the Gimara. Why didn't we want to answer that it's a Trefa? Remember, Trefa means that they did do the Shrita, but just it wasn't going to live the year. Right? Nivela means that they didn't do a shechita. So he says, so we answered like Rabbi Meir. The according to Shittat Rabbi Meir, shechita shen ruya is still considered shechita. The according to Shittat Rabbi Meir, even if they did a shechita and it wasn't proper shechita, he's still chayav <laughs> because, exactly, right? no, so that's why. That means if we're going on, you couldn't answer, we're talking about Trefa, you have to answer that was doing Nivela. So ask the Gemara, why don't you just say that we're talking about Ben Pekua? Remember, Ben Pekua, you do shechita to the mother, and it's the it's child it's is going to be exempt. So why don't we learn like that? Mm-hmm. So answers the Gemara like Rabbi Nir that says Ben Pekua does need shechita according to Shitat Rabbi Nir. So ask the Gemara Velishnele. So why don't we learn mm-hmm. right again? But each one is a different machlok in a different place. So we're not going to get into it here, obviously. Right? So says the Gemara Velishnele. Why don't we learn? He goes Shamad Badin. You took him to to the bedding. What does that mean? Before the shechita, you already took him to bedding. The Amrulo. So the bedding says, "Setenlo, give it to him." Teha Amar Rav. Rav says, "Setenlo." If the Dayanim come and they told the Ganav, go give it to him. And then, Tabach Machar. So imagine, the guy comes and he steals. Mm. After stealing, they take him to Bedin. They say, ah, uh, the Bedin says, give it back. He goes home, and instead of giving it back, now he does Shechita. <laughs> yeah? I know a lot of people that would do things like that. <laughs> yeah, the, the rabbi <laughs> tells them, hey, boom, they're going to do Bechav uh, Yeah? So what happens, right? The rabbi comes and tells him, come to Dafyomi every single morning. He doesn't come. And when the rabbi doesn't come, then all of a sudden he comes. So what happens? He says, he says, Amrulo, setenlo. And now he comes in his tabach machar. What happens? Patun. Why patun? Why patun? Says, my tama, kevan de paske leminta. Pasek. Okay. You know what pasek means? Yeah, he's in the freezer. Yeah, what is a pasek? It says here, once Betin came and they were kovea. They went and they said, boom, that's it. So now tabach machar is like a gazlan. It's not anymore a gnav. Remember, what are we talking about? The person has to pay back double and all this is by ganav. A ganav, somebody is doing it behind your back. Right? That's, That's called a ganav. A gazlan is in front of your face. Right? Yeah? So, so what happens? That's the case. So it's already gazlan. The gazlan never pays on Rabbi Hamisha. So it says the Gemara, but what else did they told him? That means the Dayanim came and they said to the ganav, you're obligated. They didn't tell him to pay. They just said you have, you're obligated to give it to him. But they didn't give a kriya sofit. They didn't give the sof pasuk. And now he comes in Tabak Machar. It's going to be chayav. My tama, what's reasoning? As long as there's no pasek, he's still a ganav. Meaning for him to be considered a gazlan is Bedin. only after the betin come and they chotech. This is the halacha. That's it. No, that's what he's saying. He's saying as long as there was no psak betin, He's still considered exactly. a ganav. No, the second is a psak din, he's a gazlan. Yeah. Gazlan does not pay arba b'chamisha. Mm-hmm. It's only a ganav pays arba b'chamisha. But it's even worse now. No. Ma, no. What the Torah the says, one more time, the Torah says only a ganav. Avanti, avanti, avanti. Doesn't matter. It's fine. They have to punish him for something else. But he can't. It's a this. It's a this. It's a different halacha. Why? He's not a ganav. But the din is doing something. He's doing something. He's doing something. Yeah? Amri, we say, why don't we learn that it's talking about you had a partner and he did a shechita without you knowing about it. So it says, you're right. He could have brought in a few of the, he could have brought in this one as well. He did one of the few. Okay, it's a good answer as well. If you're going to be to entanat ganav by an aveda, remember beforehand we're talking about pikadon. Now we're talking about Naveda, meaning somebody lost something. I come and I find it. They come and say, ah, I, I heard that you found my thing. What are you talking about? 
What? It was stolen. Toenta not ganav by an avidah. I found it. It's an avidah. I find it. But now he comes. Uh, it was stolen. Toenta not ganav by avidah. Says the gemara. He shalem to shume kefet. He does not be kefet. My tamalot's reasoning. He was done that basu al kol avidah asher yomar. He shalem shnei mleru. It says it on any avidah. So ask the gemara. Eight ve Rabbi Abba Bar Mamun Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. Ask Rabbi Abba Bar Mamun. To Rabbi Abba Abba. Ki ten ish. When it says ki ten ish al reu. When this person is going to give it to his friend to watch over things, to be shomer. Obviously, a katan, which is given a pikadon, is not good, good, called, good, considered a good netina, to be mechayev, right? That's only if he gave it to him. He says, keshu katan, utvau keshu katan. When he was a minor, he gave it to him, and then he's also asking for it when he's minor. What happens right now, there's no keshu katan, utvau keshu katan. What happens if he gave it to him, he was a minor? But then when he's asking for the money back, or the, whatever it is that he gave it to him to watch over, he's asking him for it back, he's already a gadol. How do we know in such a case that he's not chayav to, he's not chayav also? It has to be the same, um, how do you call it, the ha'eluim here or the dayanim, right? It has to be the same uh, status quo, right? The same status quo for the, for the netina and the tviya. If you're going to tell me right now, that really be met, the the psak is that there's going to be a chiyuv kefil by aveda, tavina mi kaveda should be like an aveda, which means that this pikadon should be like he found it, <laughs> and therefore he's going to be twenty tanat ganav after he finds it. He should be chayav. Samale he says ha chav ma'asi what we do with it? Don shachalo kishu katan. He says no. He ate it when he was still a katan, and therefore meolam it was never considered. Right, the pikadon of a gadol. So since it's never considered pikadon of a gadol, he's never going to be chayav a shavua, and he's never going to be chayav all these things because he's still a katan. So says the gemara aval. However, though, if he ate it when he was gadol, my what salacha? Achen avdim shalem. For sure, he should pay. Ihachi if so, the tana that would we learned that shetein etinah to be actually being chayav has to be the same status for both the giving and the receiving, the the not the receiving, the tovia, the to demanding of it. Litzni at shetein achilah to be actually being chayav has to be the eating. And the tviya shavin kechad, not the the netina, the eating. So answers the Gemara. Malei says, Tani, we learned that shtei achila. You're right. It's achila and tviya have to be in the same status quo when he's already because if he, if he was a katan and then he became a gadol, it's on the same status. So if it's a different halacha, just like we learned now, became halacha. If he was a katan and became a gadol, it's a new status. So says the Gemara. Rav Ashi, Rav Ashi, comes and he says, Lo dami, you can't compare the case of katan and when he became a gadol. When you come and you're finding something that comes from a shomra mikoch ben adam that yesh lo dat, this pikadon, the pikadon was done by a child. A child does not have ben dat. So therefore it's not the same thing. You cannot compare both cases. He says, you're never going to be chayav by twenty anat ganav by pikadon unless you're going to be kofer ben mitzat and yodeh be mitzat. My, my, what does that mean? That means you're only going to be chayav when it's going to be that he's saying nignav in order to be poter at more, but he's modeh on the pikadon. Meaning like this, I come and I tell you, where's my thing? You have to be modeh that you give me a pikadon, so I'm modeh. But then I have to try to get myself out of it. So how do I get myself out of it? I need I mishaker, I need kofer. So no, 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 nignav. So that's the pshat that he has to be modeh ve kofer be mitzat. Modeh be mitzat. And then he's going to be chayab. So says the Gemara, my time on Tuesday. The Gemara, the Pasuk says, Ki hu ze. What does it mean, ki hu ze? It's a lashon be mikzat. Ze ani chayab ve lo yoter. Ki ze ve lo yoter. This and not something else. O pliga da rochia bara'a ve liyosef 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 ve Okay, which was uh, which is not really supposed to be here. Mm-hmm. Meaning that's why he got like a, become became meurav, uh, became all you know all changed. Mm-hmm. and it's written ki huze amilve It's written on the milve. Okay. Mm-hmm.